Hello, uh, good day, my fellow Nigerians in uh, Yorkshire, in Leeds, in the UK, and back home in our Nigeria. Uh, I would like to say thank you to everybody that is watching our Nigerian Yorkshire Community Network, UKCIC, in Leeds, United Kingdom, in the diaspora. For our family, single students, and uh, businesses that are back home, I would like to welcome you again to our YouTube channel. Uh, please continue to watch our YouTube channel because we have lots of updates. As you know, I normally put lots of updates about what we do and most especially about any changes in the UK that would benefit you, your family, or as a student. Uh, any immigration changes. So we're here to give you an update. We're just like your eyes on the ground. So just a quick one. I want you to please put in your calendar. This is why I'm doing this video for all our YouTube uh, subscribers, this Saturday, the 17th of June, 2023, on Zoom at 3 p.m. UK time, 3 p.m. Nigerian time, we want you to join us on the session. This is a very powerful session that uh, we normally invite uh, immigration lawyers and uh, some departments of the Home Office to come and join us, to come and give us an update about the UK immigration and up upcoming changes. As you know that there's been a lot of changes in the in the UK uh, system in terms of visa. So families that are coming here now, uh, students that have a family that are wanting to come here, as from January 2024, for example, they're not going to be able to bring their dependent only for research students. Uh, again, we need to speak to you about applying for the type of visa that will benefit you and your family as a business or as a family, etc., like that. And what that means is that if you continue to collect the international health care and social care visa, which there is no job in the UK, to be honest with you. In this our area in Yorkshire now, Leeds, where we are or anywhere in the Yorkshire, the, the health care and the social care is saturated. And then what we want to do is basically that we don't want you to be spending your 15 million, 20 million collecting three to five years work, work visa when you can't get a job in the UK at the moment, you know. Okay, it's very really good for you to say you want to come to UK. Uh, but a lot of people get down here, spend after spending 20 million, they, they're not able to get a job for six months or, or seven months. Yes, the environment is good. Yes, you're, you're not in Nigeria anymore. You're now in a foreign country. How do you survive? This is where I'm going to be uh, part of the guest speakers at the same time as presenter to talk about JAPA projects, more JAPA project changes, more advice for our Nigerians in the UK, in the diaspora, and back home who are try who are planning to embark on a journey to UK or any anywhere outside UK like America or Canada, etc. Like that. So it's an advice. And uh, as I've said, we do not want anybody to come to this country without a proper financial plan. You know, I want everybody to be here. I want our people to be here. And uh, I know that there was a video about uh, one of our Nigerian people basically having a session with Sky News, you know, giving them or etc. And a lot of people were not happy. Our own is to advise you. We want you to come here, but come here, make sure you have a proper plan. You know, for example, if you're coming here, how do you get rent? How do you put your child in the school? How do you get a job? You know, how can you move on with your life? How can you live a different life? It's a different life from Nigeria. You know, for example, when it comes to safeguarding of children and adults, the way you discipline your children, you know, in um, in Nigeria is different from how you do it here. You know, if you actually, you know, beat your child unnecessarily and there is marks or kind of, kind of a, you know, you know, you get prosecuted. The family or the family will be separated, you know. And uh, we're going to talk about domestic abuse, abuse in the family, about children, etc. You know, when Nigerians get to this country, what else are you supposed to be doing? You know, basically, if you have a domestic issue, a relationship, you sit down and talk about it, you know, uh, because the police has got a lot of stuff to do. There's no point, you know, you know, you sit down and look at things in terms of your relationship, look at in terms of your family. How do you bring your children up? You know, uh, the, the way Nigerian uh, children, young ones, grows up in Nigeria is different from UK. You know, we're going to talk about student tier 4 visa, changes to student tier 4 visa, tier 2 sponsored visa, postgraduate visa. You know, analyzing Nigerian JAPA project is one of understanding and abiding by the UK law, surviving and successful 
tips of living in the UK. You know, you know, extra income. How can you have extra income? Are you good at plating hair? Are you good at cooking food? Are you good at doing makeup? Are you good at doing blogging, etc., like that, or content creator? All those things we can advise you. What are the benefits of joining our Nigerian community group? When you get here, even if you're in Yorkshire, we will absorb you within our community. We will add you onto our platform, Telegram, and uh, you know, and etc. And we will, you know, we have a community. Our Nigerian Yorkshire community network here. We have a lot of activities, especially this summer. We have sixteen events that has been some sponsored by the UK government. Uh, we're very lucky. Our organization is growing well, and uh, our food share program is growing well. And a lot of people, I know some people will ask questions about, uh, uh, oh, what, what are the students that are receiving food? Um, are, they, are they under the uh, clause of, uh, you cannot, no cost for public fund? That has got nothing to do with that. You know? So I want people to go on the platform, and I've actually clarified this, you know? Uh, if anybody is 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 financially or you know not able to eat, not able to afford to eat, you know, we as a charity, we as a community group, we give anybody uh, food, no matter where you come from, no matter your religion, no matter your situation, it doesn't matter. You know, I always sell it that it's only when you're hungry that your belly will start rumbling. It's only when you're hungry is that is when you go to the kitchen. People don't just go to the kitchen and watch jelly or sleep. You know, and so, you know, so giving food, free food package, you know, to a lot of uh, our community is down to, you know, our our generous uh, supermarkets and food suppliers. And I would like to say a huge thank you to all of them. I can't start naming them. We talk about Tesco, Asda, Morrison, you know, m &S, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, Paula Degbisoy, our Nigerian brother, Chris Kenoris, our Nigerian brother, Afro Grosser, you know. We collect food from all major super supermarkets, lots of food and lots of gifts, donations. And so that's why we said, if you have any spare food, if you're an organization, you want to support families. Not only our programs, our activity is not only for Nigerians, so it's for everybody, you know, and we do not discriminate on food. You know, so if you're there, you have food, you want to donate food to us, please get in touch with us. Our email address is admin at nycn.org.uk. Or you can send us an email, you know, welfare at nycn.org.uk. Go onto our website, www.nycn.org.uk. Or go on our social media. We'll be able to um, accept. You can donate any domestic items that you're not using. You know, if you have a sofa, if you have a bed, please don't waste it. Give us a call. We will come and pick it. We will give it to a family, in a Nigerian family that just arrived. Remember that whenever you arrive in this country, you're going to get a flat or a room. You need to furnish the place. And it's very expensive. I'm, I'm going to tell you, you know, before you buy a telly. But, you know, we see some Nigerians, you know, and when they have something in their house, domestic, either a bike or television, you know, they will give us a call. So, so just to let you know, we don't only receive food or collect food. We can collect domestic items. So if you want to do that, our website is there. It can give you some instruction. You go in there, you register, you can give us a call. Okay. So just on the, on the program, Zoom program, this program is going to be on Zoom on this is Community Engagement Awareness Forum UK Immigration and Upcoming Changes, JAPA Project Question and Answers, you know, and we have our two powerful uh, guest speakers that are going to be there. Please, we want you to be there. We're going to be starting 3 p.m. UK time and Nigerian time. We're not going to wait. Please. And uh, they have their time. So if we're inviting them and they're coming with their precious time, please. And, uh, you know, uh, is one of our, our solicitor, community solicitor, uh, Mr. Ken uh, Kenny Ayelaka, you know, is a solicitor, community uh, principal solicitor. And uh, we have our consultant, you know, Mrs. Olaide Awogbile, you know, is basically a specialist in immigration, law, and pharma pharmacy. And um, we're trying to bring someone from the home office. And uh, hopefully, uh, our sister Olaide Mrs. Jenkins and uh, is the permit. And uh, I hope that uh, they will be able to represent. So this is what, where we are with things, please. Uh, we want you. If you're one of our subscribers, if you're back home, if you need any questions, please, there's no point putting questions on the comment. It's good, but I will not be able to I go on to that all the time. You know, this is not my full-time job, YouTube. I only fall in into this YouTube or social media by accident because we created this community. 
And for people that knows out, our Nigerian Yorkshire Community Network, UKCIC, we have lots of programs for family. So we want to guide you as you're coming to this country. Remember that what we said is that basically that, you know, the UK is trying to give a lot of people visa, but there will be a lot of changes that is coming that will affect you, you know, in terms of students, in terms of families. And we don't want you to be applying for the wrong thing. You know, if you're there, <clears throat> etc. all you need to do is basically know the type of visa that will benefit you and your family. If you go and play millions and millions of pounds for healthcare and social care work, you're not going to get a job. I've been some people called me last week, and even when we went to distribute food, you know, this is when I tend to see when to speak to people. One of our sisters said he has been in this country now, uh, and um, I think she came in in January, and since February she's not she's not been able to get a job. She told me, President, I can't get a job. You know, some people when a recruitment agency, someone that gives you a visa to come to UK for a uh, three or five years, they're supposed to get you a job. If they don't get you a job, you need to report them to the home office. It's as simple as that. You know, anybody that is giving you a sponsorship license, which is being licensed by the home office and uh, sponsorship, if they give you a job, they have to get you a job in the UK. If they give you a visa, two to three years visa, working visa, you need to get a job. If they don't give you a job, they're not fulfilling their obligations to the UK home office. And this is why we're echoing this to them, to everybody. There is an opportunity for teachers. If you can teach, please join. You know, for lecturers. Yes, I think you can join for lecturers because what happened is that there is a lot of jobs there. You know, so if you want to collect a work permit, make sure you can collect a work permit that you'll be able to use not only for healthcare and social work, not only for teacher, but make sure you can do anything. So there is a, a UK is in a recession at the moment. We're getting back slowly, but there is no job. A lot of people, I get contact every blessed day telling me, President, they can't get a job. Or they've been here for six months, for a year, and they've finished all their spending. And you know why I get to know all these things? It's all because most of them, they cannot afford to even buy any food anymore. So they come and collect food every week where we distribute food. As you know, I show you the video. And this is when they start telling me, they will approach me, President, they can't even get a job. And that's why, you know, most of them are coming to come and collect food. And we give people food. Right? Once you're in this country, you collect a food parcel, what 30 to 40 pounds to 50 pounds worth of food. And we get this free food from this supermarket. So uh, we've been very lucky to have our own van. We've been very lucky, sponsored, you know. So all this sponsorship is to make sure that we can help you, you know, as, as a community, as a family, as a student. So even the University of Bradford, you know, is actually having a food pantry. So this is why to, to let you know that... Uh, the clause that say that no public fund, uh, no recourse to public fund, that has got nothing to do with you when it comes to food. Even the University of Bradford is actually telling the international students in Bradford that uh, if you're really financially struggling, you can't pay your rent, you can't eat, etc. You, you can you can get up to three thousand uh, pounds once one of three thousand pounds. You know if you if you apply. And that is, that is, all those things are there. And this is why I've echoed it to even all the universities that they should have the same scheme. They should help international students. When international student is paying 18,000, 20,000 per course, the least they can do is to support them once. And just to, just to remind everybody, these 3,000 pounds that, uh, for example, University of Bradford is not to pay your school fees. So it's not to pay your school fee. Nobody is there to pay your school fee. You brought yourself down here and you have to work to pay your school fees. And you have to make sure you meet your demand. Otherwise, they will stop your cost. It's as simple as that. So, so at the end of the day, the food, the free food we give to people in Nigeria, they call it food palliative. Here we call it food share or food banking, etc. like that. You know, that one has got nothing to do with you. You know, uh, it, it will not affect you uh, on your visa that no access to public fund. You're not collecting public fund. I'm not giving you 3,000 pounds. I'm not giving you 1 million pounds. No. I don't, we don't have that kind. We're not a bank. We're a charity or community group, okay? So, I just want to remind everybody, this Saturday, please, make sure you join us, 3 p.m. on Zoom. I can tell you, bring all your questions. If you're from home, anywhere around the country, anywhere outside the country, please come. And I want to remind you people, use people to, please, every last Saturday, last Sunday of the month, we normally have a jackpot project session. This is for us to answer your question. If you have any questions, don't put it on. You can put it on the comment box, but join the jackpot. We've done like three sessions now and people don't come. 
If you continue to put questions on the comment, but I don't have time answering it because I have lots of stuff to do. You know, the point of this is for we, we've organized this session every last Sunday, last, last Sunday of the month to do a jackpot project, 5 p.m. on Zoom. And the link is on there. Just go to the community section on the YouTube and you can get the link. But for this um, Zoom that is coming up on Saturday, which is the Community Engagement Awareness Forum, UK Immigration and Upcoming Changes for Nigerians in the Diaspora and Nigerians just about to come back home, I will put the link there. Please make sure you join us this Saturday, 3 p.m. We're going to start and, you know, you will not regret it. But if you need information, we will give you information. It's simple as that. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a, an update on our session immigration, UK immigration and upcoming changes and JAPA project question and answer. We're going to be doing this Saturday on Zoom. Join us. The link will be at the bottom of this video. And also make sure you uh, visit our community section on the YouTube page. You know, you're welcome. May the Lord continue to bless you and your family. And early, every one of you that have been trying to embark to come to this country, we will, you will come here successfully in the mighty name of God and Allah. So we want you to be here to make sure, but before you come here, have a proper plan. Have a proper plan. There's no point coming here. You know, then you start suffering. Here, there's no brother, there's no sister. Oh. There's no brother, there's no sister. You'll be alone and you don't want to bring your child in to come and suffer. That is, that, is my, that is my focus. You know, my concern is to make sure you get here because I, we get a lot of reports from our Nigerians. They can't get a job. They've been here for so long, for six months now. I tell you, one of my brother couldn't get a job in Leeds or Yorkshire in the UK. You know, he has to go and get a job in Northern Ireland. So he called me yesterday that he has now moved to Northern Ireland because they gave him a job there. And this is, again, social and care job. So it's not that there's no social and care job, but there is no, it's, it's saturated. You know, you can't even get a full shift. You know, so if you come to UK now, you have to wait for three months, six months before, before they put you before they get you a job, and even if they get you that job, it's not a full time. So what's the point you spending 20 million, 30 million, and you come here, you keep on earning, uh, and there's no loan. You're not going to get a loan. We're not a loan company, we're a charity, okay? So may the Lord bless you all. So let me just uh, wrap this up, and I will see you on that session, Zoom on Saturday. I will put the link at the bottom of this video, or check our community group, okay? Always check our community group, our community section for updates of events and etc. Because even if you're not in UK now, one way or the other, you'll be coming to UK. I know that. And all those sessions, we have to keep our connection with you. Remember that our community group is not only for Nigerians in diaspora, it's for you, your family, to make sure that we lead you to that path until you are here. And even once you get down here, we will continue to support you with food. We'll help you with job accommodation support. And uh, and the food, so that uh, until you set you down, you can be uh, in the, you can be dependent for yourself. Then we do. That is what we do. That is why our organization is created to help you families in the diaspora and at home. Thank you very much, and may the Lord bless you. If you're coming to UK, you're not coming to Yorkshire, and uh, please go on the line, find the Nigerian community group that is within the area you're going, or you can contact Kanuk. Kanuk is C A N U K. Type it on Google. It's Central Association of Nigerian UK Community. Those are our umbrella body, and we've been working with them for a long time. And uh, we work with the Nigerian High Commission and NIDOM as well. Thank you very much, and we'll speak to you soon. More update to come soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.